What makes the Grossman designs most interesting is their sophisticated yet playful design. The pieces exhibit a whimsical form that is both organic and modern. The unique stance of the grasshopper gives the impression that the lamb is somehow alive and stalking its prey. Greta Magnussen Grossman was a woman of many talents, working with everything from sculpting, drawing and writing to architecture. Her designs often combined wood with, for that time, untraditional materials for furniture, such as metal and plastic. It was, however, in some of her less known furniture pieces, and perhaps even more in her lamp designs, that her unique sense of form and delicate design language really came to life. Grossman's career was at its height during the 1940s, 50s and 60s as part of the Californian design movement. To Grossman, modern design was not a superimposed style, but an answer to present conditions. Grossman was born in Helsingborg in 1906. Before her studies, she trained at a local carpentry, something that without a doubt contributed to making her designs equally aesthetic and useful. In the early 1930s, she became one of the first women ever to graduate from the famous Stockholm School of Industrial Design, today known as Konsvak. She then went on to open an independent studio in Stockholm. Her education and professional choices were remarkable achievements at a time when both the furniture industry and the world of architecture were strictly male-dominated. Alongside her husband, Grusben escaped the war and headed for the United States where she quickly established a new studio on Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles, California. She became part of the American design and cultural elite with the likes of Eames, Saarinen and George Nelson, and celebrities such as Greta Garbo and Frank Sinatra counted amongst her clients. In 1950, her Copra lamp won the Good Design Award and was shown at corresponding installations at MoMA, New York. In the 1950s, Grossman also designed a series of furniture for the small manufacturer Glen of California. Among them, a desk and three dressers named the 62 series, as they were deemed to be 10 years ahead of their time. Had it not been for author and gallery owner Ivan Snyderman's Chan sighting, designer Greta Grossman's enduring success might have remained in question. Grossman's products were launched just as modernism was beginning to influence the design industry, and the organic form of the lamps was ideally suited to their performance, thus perfectly reflecting the new modernist style. What is so incredible about Grossman's design is that they combine great simplicity and functionality with a strong personality. The pioneering style and unique vision fits perfectly with Gooby's design DNA, and we're proud to give this magnificent female designer a second comeback. And as Snyderman says, to discover something new that is as good as this is both astounding and exciting. Grossman's designs are still popular today because they are quite simply good design. <laughs>